What is up, YouTube? It's your boy Connor Garrity back on the G Money Zero Four One channel. Welcome, 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 welcome. Um, today we got two new pickup videos. Um, one of them is a Nike SB. One of them is a shoe that just came out. One of them is very old. One of them is very new, but it's an old style shoe. We'll get into it. Um, we're probably gonna review the shoe that I just got today. I, I, if you've ever watched my channel, you know I like to do unboxing videos where I actually unbox the shoe. One of the, the older shoe isn't has already been unboxed because I couldn't wait, but the other one hasn't. So, without further ado, let's get into it. But actually, before we get into it, shout out to IBS three six five. Shout out to Titus one. You guys are the homies. Titus, I'm loving the designs. Cannot wait to see the rest of the line. And yeah, let's do this. I'm pumped up to get these. I am really pumped up to have these in hand. Urgh, so happy. So, ugh. first shoe coming up right now. Whee. You get really good with what I love this thing. This thing is such a nice little box cutter that I have. Ugh. Remember, kids. Always cut away from you unless you know what you're doing. Ooh, damn. That's a different box. I'm just gonna have a sportswear box. Alright. As you can see, we have a kind of different looking box here. It is a black box. And on the top of it, you can see it says Nike Air Force One. A little bit different of a shoe. However, I'll explain why I have this. So let's peep the tag. Night Air Force One High Comfort Premium RWQS Rashid Wallace Crick Strike Size 11 Total Crimson White is the colorway. Retail price on this one was $145. I got these off sneakerpolitics.com. Um, I do believe they still have some select sizes on Nike.com if you like these. So check that out, but be very quick about it. Um, I'm loving the paper too. They have like little stars all over the paper. This is like my first pair of Air Force Ones in like ever. So I'm very happy to get these. Uh, I do love Air Force Ones, but I usually just don't get them. -wee. These are pretty. Mm, smell like leather too. Love the smell of leather in the morning, even though it's the afternoon. <laughs> Anyway, these are the Rashid Wallace Roscoe's. Uh, I'm not sure why they're called the Roscoe's, to be exact. However, uh, these are absolutely badass. Uh, so cool. So, so, so cool. These sneakers are absolutely phenomenal. These are so cool. I'm so happy to have these in hand. These are just so cool to me. I'm, I'm a huge fan of Rasheed Wallace. Rasheed Wallace is one of my favorite players of all time. I know he gets a lot of a bad rap for being a complainer and thinking he's never committed a foul in the history of his whole entire career. Um, I'm just a huge fan of his, and I think he is a great player, Hall of Fame player in my opinion. Uh, so, you know, again, he gets a bad rap. I like players who not a lot of people like because they seem to get bad raps. I'm one of those people who's very forgiving in terms of forgiving players uh, who have a bad reputation. But these are just absolutely awesome. And I'm going to be wearing these ones pretty quickly. Honest, In all honesty, I'm probably going to be wearing these very, very quickly. But... Um, Without further ado, let's get into the, let's get into a quick review of the shoe. And I know I've kind of screwed up the strap already on the back of these. Uh, I'm not used to having Air Force Ones, and if I do, uh, more more than likely they're going to be lows. They're not going to be highs. So uh, this is my first pair of Air Force One highs ever. So um, uh, very happy with the quality, by the way, on these. The quality on these is on point. So uh, anyway, let's get into the review right now. Um, the upper is, 
around the toe box you have a orange patent leather that patent leather is also on the back of the shoe and in blue right there you can see the Rashid Wallace uh, fall away jumper uh, his patented fall, fall away jumper also on the back you have blue patent leather with Rashid Wallace's signature and number 30 on the back of it the uh, swoosh is a leather swoosh with a blue lining around it and also comes with a blue splatter on the swoosh. I think that is absolutely awesome. Uh, blue patent leather is also used on the eyelets of the shoe. And we have blue laces with a blue mesh tongue. The Nike Air, it, we have a white Nike Air Force One tag on top with Nike Air stitching in orange. And the inner lining is blue, and let me see if I can open this up and show you the inside of the shoe. Um, they do have two different insoles on these. And also it comes with the, uh, of course, Air Force One highs do have a strap on the back of them. And uh, this one says Roscoe on it, which is the name of the shoe. Um, again, I don't know why they're called the Roscoes. If anyone out there knows why, um, please let me know. Uh, I'd love to know the meaning of it, but uh, right now I do not know why they're called the Roscoes, um, which kind of sucks because I like knowing what the inspirations for my shoes. Um, but yeah, they're called the Roscoes. Um, also on the side paneling on both sides and on the toe box, you have a orange and gray elephant print I th or orange and like brown elephant print. That is super dope to me. Uh, let me try to show you the inside of this shoe. On the inside of the left shoe, you have Roscoe. And on the inside of the right shoe, you have the Rashid Wallace uh, fall away, fade away jumper logo. The midsole is a white midsole with a um, blue splatter on it, as well as orange contrast lacing. You have an orange Nike Air. And the outsole is a translucent outsole with the right shoe saying sheed in black and the left shoe having the Rashid Wallace jumper. Uh, I think that is absolutely, I think that's so cool that they have that. Um, again, I'm just really happy to have these in hand. I think these are just so badass. Again, I love ha when players... I love having like a player exclusive basically because um, I just think it's cool that Nike did this for Rashid Wallace. It's his last, it was his last year in the league this year. Um, for those of you who didn't know, he did play for the Knicks, uh, kind of, not really. He kind of sat out most of the year with injuries, uh, which is sad because, again, I'm a fan of his. When he was in the game, he was the same old Rashid Wallace. He was pulling... He was teaching these youngers, these young guns things. Uh, he was using his old man moves. He's always had what I would call an old man game. Um, Rashid Wallace, it's never been above the rim really for him. It's always been below, his game's always been below the rim. Um, jumpers and getting to the spot kind of and beating players by um, using his smarts rather than speed or quickness or any of those things. So, um, you know, I've always admired his game, but uh, yeah, I'm just really happy to have these, to be honest. I think these are just the coolest things in the world. So, <laughs> I've screwed up the backs of these so bad. Oh, now I've got them kind of equal, so it's going to say Roscoe. I'm just going to hang these back here like Rashid Wallace would. Rashid Wallace never strapped them up. You always hung off the back, so that's what I'm going to do. Sorry for the rambling and the messing around. My OCD is going crazy. But anyway, those are the Rashid Wallace's. Now let's move on to the older pair of shoes that I haven't re reviewed for you yet. As you can see, we have a gold Nike SB box. Repeat the tag. Nike Dunk Low Pro SB Metallic Black Metallic Zinc, size 10 and a half. Um, got these for $140, which I think is a steal on these. These are the Nike SB Dunk Low Strummer Befores. Uh, these are based off of Joe Strummer's guitar. 
for those of you who don't know who Joe Strummer is, um, Joe Strummer was the former lead singer of the greatest, one of the greatest bands of all time, The Clash. I am, for those of you who don't know, a huge classic rock fan. Um, and to me, I think The Clash are one of the greatest bands of all time. I think Joe Strummer is one of the greatest front men of all time. I love The Clash. They're literally, like, to me, the epitome. London Calling, to me, is one of the greatest albums ever made, hands down. It is a top five album ever made. It is perfection. And so Joe Strummer, to me, is a huge influence on my mu- on how I listen to music and the types of music I listen to because he's just a he was just a great songwriter, a good guitarist. He was amazing. He was an absolute amazing individual. Very eccentric kind of. Didn't even never had money. He was broke when he made London Calling. He was like living basically on the streets. He, he was just a very different individual. Marched to the beat of his own drummer. I wish he was still alive. He died tragically of cancer. Um, but anyway, his memory lives on. And Nike SB, as a tribute to him, made these shoes. And these things are freaking amazing. They are absolutely on point. So let's get into the shoe. On the toe box, you have a off-white leather. That off-white leather also comes onto the laces and also the midsole of the shoe. The uh, toe box around the toe box, you have a brown suede, incredibly amazing quality brown suede. For those who uh, just, I don't think I said it. This is based off of his Fender Stratocaster. I think it was a 1966 Fender Stratocaster that he had um, in a sunburst finish, kind of this finish right here, uh, that eventually he decided to paint over uh, with spray paint. Um, and there's a second pair called the Afters. I really want them. So if any of you out there have a size 10 and a half of the Joe Stormer afters, please message me with pictures, prefer with pictures, and we can negotiate a deal. Uh, it has to be very near DS or dead stock condition. These were dead stock condition, which is why I think it's a steal that I got them for 155 I mean $150 flat. Um, that's an absolute steal. These are still dead stock. These were made in 2007. That's incredible. The eyelets are a darker brown suede, kind of matching with the um, brown mesh on the tongue. The side wall, the side paneling, and also going around the back is a get a black suede. Again, just super, super high quality suede used on this shoe. Uh, the swoosh is another um, like gray kind of suede, zinc, I think they called it suede. Super, super nice. Uh, that might also be a new buck. I'm not sure. Um, and then there's also a brown suede on the back with a dark brown leather uh, pull tab and Nike cinched in black. The front tab is also that same brown leather with also Nike SB in black. And the inner lining and insole is black with a white Zoom Air pad in there. And also black outsole. And it also comes with like burgundy colored laces. I guess this would be more burgundy colored on the back tab and the uh, front tab. And it comes with those color laces. Either way, this shoe to me is absolute perfection. Again, I'm just a huge fan of The Clash. I think they're one of the greatest bands of all time. If not, well, they're not the greatest band of all time because I'm a huge Beatles fan as well. But I think The Clash, in terms of what they did for music, are one of the greatest bands. And again, Joe Strummer is just a huge influence on my life. I, I, I love all of his music that they made with The Clash. I mean, that London Call, Calling album, I can listen to on repeat. And I've listened to it on repeat on multiple occasions. It's insane how great that album is. If you've never listened to London Calling, take like an hour and a half out of your day and just listen to it on repeat. You won't regret it. It's great. It's just perfection. And, yeah, I think that's it, guys. So, uh, thank you for watching this. This has been your boy, Connor Garrity, again, on the GMA 041 channel. Uh, like the video, comment on the video, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this one. Shout out to Titus1, shout out to IBS365, and shout out to everybody who watches this video. Much love, much love, much love. Comment, um, please comment uh, about your thoughts on either of the shoes I picked up. 
Oh, yeah, and I forgot to mention, I think, that these uh, Nike Air Force Ones come with a Sheed Dubre. I think that's freaking awesome. Uh, two of my favorite people, one of my favorite athletes, one of my one of my favorite bands, representing both. So, yeah. Again, thank you for watching your boy, Connor Gary, on the G Money Zero One channel. Buy and wear your shoes. And, yeah, that's going to be it. So, with that, guys, I'm going to hit y'all with the peace.